today. We're today we're starting a new show. This show is called Cilio, I believe I'm pronouncing it. I was uh, on the fence. It looked, the trailers looked amazing, but I was kind of nervous starting this new show because I have a lot of new shows that are coming up and could be pushed out on this platform. Um, but I want to jump into it, guys. I'm going to try this show out, the first episode. Like, every new show that I do here on this platform, it's like a, it's like a pilot episode, y'all. So the views are viewing, the likes are liking, and the comments are commenting. I continue on the show. This season is only one season. There's ten episodes in this season. I don't know. This first episode is giving me an hour right now. Um, I'm not sure if the other episodes are shorter, but... Either or, the trailers looked phenomenal. And then what really sealed the deal for me was YouTube tried to copyright my other show that I uh, was watching that is on Apple TV. Um, and they tried to block it, guys. They sure did. And I was, the thing was getting edited down to almost nothing. And YouTube kept trying to block it. Um, and then Apple TV, when I disputed it, Apple TV said, you know what, no. Pump, pump the brakes. The breaks YouTube and they allowed my reaction to go so I was like you know what thank you Apple TV Apple TV and Netflix are two definitely streaming platforms that I would suggest other people to jump on and and sign up and watch these shows um because honestly Apple TV is bringing out great content and not only that but they stand by reactors we are, we're just reacting to the show we're following the laws guys and we're, we're pushing out the content for people to be like you know what I never seen this show maybe I want to jump on to the show and sign up to Apple TV and see that you know I, the Apple TV isn't paying me guys I'm just giving you my uh, a feel about the the platform thus far um, so Thank you to them. So I'm ready to jump into, it does say the production is AMC Studios, which, which also is actually pretty good. AMC is pretty good to reactors as well. They own Interview with a Vampire and Mayfair, which is, is what I actually been watching with them. So I believe that would be interesting is, but Interview with a Vampire is on a, Different show, different time. I'm ready to jump into this, guys. I did see the trailer, one trailer of the show, and I was completely confused, but it looked amazing. And these actors, there was really big actors in it that I knew. So, I'm gonna jump into it. If you'd like to see the Cinema Reaction, you can. It'll be available for my entire platform. Here on this platform, there will always copyright my sh as well as my other platform, Patreon. So if you would like to see this in a full reaction, you guys can today sign up to one of those platforms and it will be available for you right away. Um, and uh, what else I was gonna say? Begging portion of my reaction? Please hit that like button. Please share the video. Don't forget to comment down below. And now it's time to jump into Cilio and find out exactly if I'm saying the name correctly. <laughs> Sheriff. Hey, I know you. We do not know why everything outside the silo is as it is. You awake yet? I'm about halfway there. We do not know when it will be safe to go outside. We only know that day is not this day. I mean, this is a very nice underground, though. No shade. If I was going to be an ant, I wouldn't be here. When you get your coffee, meet me in holding three. Three? What are you doing? I wanna see her. Should have done it three years ago. But I couldn't listen. I made up my mind or I wouldn't be in here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm gonna wait till Sandy gets in. I don't want you to say it. Deputy Mars. Please, Chef. I wanna go out. When you get things rolling, I think I'm gonna light them. Need any milk? Going no. back in time? Come on, it's almost eight. I don't know why we're doing this. We're not gonna get it. We had two tries. Third time's a charm. <laughs> You're just excited to have sex every day. Hey, you could be pregnant a month from now. You know I love you no matter what. Shut up. 
We're doing this. Talk about baby names, which will be me just humoring you because big birth to this little critter. <laughs> I'm naming it whatever the hell I want. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's interesting. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Damn, everybody knows? I really hate this part. People are just happy for it. I don't mean to intrude. So don't. If everyone likes you. If everyone likes me, I'm not doing my job. What I'd really be interested in is you leaving us alone, Gloria. Ooh. Your husband's waiting for me to say something I'm not legally allowed to say. I have no desire to be sent out. Thank you, Sheriff. If you've an open mind, come see me. It goes right to the edge of promising people a baby if they do what she says, which is fraud. I removed the birth control. It'll take two to three weeks for your hormones to reset. Right. Your second time? Third. And last. And you make sure the capsule's implanted quite deep. And there it is. You're no longer under birth control. You are now free to make a baby. I swear, if one more person congratulates us. Impregnate me. At some point, this is going to start feeling like work. Best work ever. <laughs> Tried like four times before we finally got clearance, so now's your time. did an article on our BBS about recovering deleted files to get my approval for any IT-related content. Before it goes wide. I took it down, your post. The reporting structure is there for a reason. Got it. Did you know you were breaking the rules? No. Maybe. You wanted to work in IT. It's not just IT. It's everywhere. We blame the rebels for erasing our history, right? So why can't we ask questions about that stuff? Send you down to the mines if you happen to have a relic from the before times. Allison. You're gonna use your sheriff voice with me? <laughs> what if a bunch of rule breakers decide they wanna see for themselves what it's like above ground? Part of my job is making sure that doesn't happen. I got my period. I know, I know. We still have time. Got a lesson with that cherry bomb's gonna start a fire that sets off a stampede. Ever since you've been wearing the sash, we've been wearing a badge. Freedom Day is going off without a hit. It's getting harder to see with every passing month. No one wants a cleaning. We'll need to see what it's like out there. Are you pregnant? Um, not yet. I'd like to ask you a question in private. I hate that term, Freedom Day. It's so simplistic. You said you wanted to ask me a question. Why'd you do that? Because I don't want them to hear. Well, who's got listeners? Judicial? Have you ever wondered? What was on the servers they erased? If it was even the rebels that did it. I've heard you're someone who also wonders actually happened out there. Do you really think you're the kind of person they want having children? She's officially descended from eccentric oddball to completely fucking crazy. She and her husband couldn't have a baby. She wants you to find out why. I have the same shot at making a baby as anyone who has clearance. You're not gonna like this. My buddy George submitted another ticket. Guess whose turn it is to take it. He's a programmer in the mids with a repair stall in the market. It'd be there first thing in the morning, which means I have to go down tonight and get a room in the hostel. Honey. I know, I know. I'll be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get pregnant from that. I never will. <laughs> and open the door to the outside, letting all the poison into the silo. Rebel! In the name of the Founders! Ah! Allison Becker? I am. You must be. I've been looking forward to meeting you for a long time. Sorry about getting you down here on Freedom Day. On call. I, I read your post on how to retrieve deleted files. I printed it. Oh. I needed to see you in person, so I put in a repair request. They sent everyone but you. So then I thought with the holiday. Why didn't you just ask for me? Didn't want to arouse suspicion. Is this about a relic? That's just it. I don't know. A uh, guy came in with this. I fired it up and it, it looked like it was empty. I cried what you posted. Says most of the drive is in use, but I can't find any files. They're very old family recipes. Very. You think this drive is over 140 years old? That's impossible. Or not. It might be as simple as just figuring out the name on the directory mail. Happy Freedom Day. Happy Freedom Day, Mayor. Very nice to see you all. Any idea what the 18 means? Uh-uh. Do you have a magnifying glass? Mm. Six minutes and six seconds on this day, 
140 years ago, regained our freedom. They had opened the door to the outside world. None of us would be here. Thank the founders. But they did manage to take away our history. Look at this library. And burned all the books in our library. Uh, uh. <laughs> but they were stopped. Look at this. What are we looking at? Bury this. Bury it? Are you kidding? This is the greatest. This is a relic. And it's a lot even half. No, but but this could be the key to everything we don't know. Are you gonna tell your husband? Just get rid of it. And their great victory should be celebrated. It should be celebrated with horns. Where the hell does that go? And it should be remembered in silence. I'm just really exhausted from that climb. We got over 200 some days of this. Are you 70 levels tired? Or are you tired? Can't be fun for you anymore. <laughs> it's not about fun. I want to have a baby. Damn. How did it go with George? I think he's just lonely. Wants to converse with other computer geeks. It's a cold, but I don't feel great. Well, go home. I'll tell Bernard. Oh, come in, come in. Why wouldn't they want us to have children? We run the water first. Bernard behave himself? I didn't see him. I think I'm gonna take tomorrow off. Go to the market. What do you need? Just wanna look. Get some exercise. I wonder what she was told. I wanna see everything. My brain is fried. Mine too, sis. Needless to say, we shouldn't tell anybody about this. Needless to say. What's this? Last one? Hey, keep right. You bumped into me. You keep right. It's late. I lost track. Got a message from the doctor. The only time you can see us is at 11. It's fine. I'm gonna sleep it a little, so I'll meet you there. Are you okay? No, but I will be. <laughs> She's like, there's no point of me coming here. Oh, she sent a note by Porter saying she wasn't feeling well. What's going on? Sit. I was gonna talk to you last night, but I wasn't sure you're gonna be able to hear what I had to say. Because you're the law man, I figured I needed to give you some proof. They were never gonna let us have children. I'm not the type of person they want having kids. Packed, they want docile, obedient. I saw Dr. Leonard take out your birth control. No, you didn't see what he was doing. I was not I can assure you he didn't take out my birth control because I just did. What did you do? Allison's heart. Allison's in the cafeteria. It's green out there. There's green trees. There's blue skies. They're keeping us here. This display Allison. is a lie. I'm not crazy. Why are you treating me like I'm Of course crazy? not. Of course not. Not having a breakdown. You are bleeding, honey. Please. Just know there's no other way. It's okay. I want to go out! Let's say she was distressed or, or that she misspoke or people misheard. Well, maybe we, we could... We can bribe them, kill them. No, God damn it! Don't you want to at least look at the possibility? Of course I do! Don't you think I've gone over it again and again? There is nothing I can do! Do not say you want to go outside. Or you will fucking go outside. Did anyone else play a part in this? Steer her in this direction? She admits she put the bug in Allison's ear about us not being the kind they want having kids. She's just mad she and her husband couldn't have kids. He runs a computer repair stall. Damn. Else gave him tech support. A judicial team searched his stall, but they didn't find anything. Then why? I think it was...
was just too much. Holston, you don't have to be here for the rest. It's the value of swearing an oath if you only stick to it when it's easy. We expect this will attract a larger crowd than usual as it's been a while. I didn't go all crazy. You cut something out of your body with a knife. I took the capsule back to Dr. Leonard. It's in there to hold a spot, prevent infection, something like that, right? I don't want anybody to hear. We're alone. Please. First of all, I love you. If I could wind back the clock, not know what I know, I would. But what I found out, what they told us isn't true. And who gets to have children? And that's not even the big thing. So, something like that, you bring it to me. To marriage John. Say the words that get you sent out there to die. I won't die out there. Take an image and, and they alter it somehow. What we see is not what's out there. It's what they want us to think. What if it's just rocks and bushes? I know what I'm seeing. They do that. To mm. keep us in here. Why would they not want us to go out? Right. I don't know. Why do people clean? That they can show people the truth that that is a lie. If that's what it's really like, I won't clean or wave goodbye because I would have made the biggest mistake of my life. And it's green and lush and beautiful. I'll pull out my wool and I'll start to clean. Find out what's going on and then I'll come back for you. What happens if that's not a real window? Cleaning, they still can't see. You have been charged with and convicted violating the cardinal law of our society. You have been asked to clean and have been provided with materials to do so. It's outside the airlock. You are outside the law. We do not know who built the silo. We do not know why everything outside the silo is as it is. When it will be safe to go outside. We only know that day is not today. On behalf of the people of the silo, I hope that you will clean so that we will better see the world outside. Here is safe. And there is not. I love you. George Wilkins, he's the one that Allison went to help in the marketplace. I transfer to a mechanical last year. He's dead. Went over the rails somewhere around level 120. Where's Hank say? Man, he didn't say much. No one saw him go over. There's an engineer down there that says it's murder. Where's the engineer? That's gonna make it. She says this guy was murdered. We need to speak to her. What came up? What does she do? Well, she pretty much keeps everyone in the silo alive. Doctor! What happened between you and her? Two years, you were dead inside. You met Julia Nichols. I only started listening is all. To what? To what she was trying to tell me. You want to find her? She's right there. As much as I love you, you old bastard. I love Allison more. If that really is her out there, either way, I'm done. I've got to know the truth. Well, well, ooh, I like that. That episode for me was a rated a nine. I thought it was very strong. The mysteries, the mysteries, the mysteries about outside. Now I don't want to go outside. Um, 
so it's called the silo. I was calling the cilio. I don't even know where, how I thought that was called cilio. So a silo, like a side, like a, I get why they call it a silo. Um, I love the characters in the show. Uh, they're all very mysterious. It's for me. I'm just kind of figuring out like what's going on. Like we have the pact. We have the rebellion. We have people who just they want to go outside. We have people, uh, the, the birth control. Like they don't want certain people to have kids. There's so much. There's so much mystery right now in the show for me. I'm like, ooh, well, well, they're doing all of this to prevent people from going outside. What is outside that could be so um, um, mysterious or so dangerous, I should say, that you don't want them to go outside? I mean, inside looks really nice, though. I really do like the inside. And beautiful cafeteria. We got the, we, looks like we got a movie theater somewhere. We have the engine room. We have the computer room. It's nice. Um, but let's go outside. Uh, I'm very curious to see what's going to happen. Now the sheriff has uh, said, I want to go outside. And um, how much more times can we say outside in this episode? This reaction? Let's find out. Um, so is he going to go outside? When is he going to go outside? Is the next episode he's going to go outside? Ooh, let's go outside. Outside, outside, outside. Um, so I think what I really do think is that's computer generated. I think that that outside is probably really what she saw but they made it seem like it's this horrible dirt filled and then why would she die if she has a whole mask on and everything like that is it because she doesn't have like an oxygen tank or anything like that so they're trying to make it seem like once you go outside you're dead um i think that they made that whole little computer thing and then she dropped dead and that's that but I think she's fine. I think she's, and that's a, a really famous actress, I believe. Um, so she's not dead. She's definitely not dead. Not for one episode. They would have casted her for one episode. So I hope in the next episode, if you guys are interested, um, that we're going to explore and find out what's going to happen. And honestly, this show did make me want to cry. It made me very interested. I was quiet for the majority of it because I was just trying to really dive deep into the show and the atmosphere and figure out what was going on and really try to remember all these characters because you guys know I watch a million shows on this platform, so it goes like this. Um, so I'm very curious to see what's going to happen and hopefully the views will be viewing, the likes will be liking, and the comments will be commenting so we can continue on the journey Journey with this wonderful show called Silo. Ooh, I got it right this time, and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully, with more Silo. Bye.